Hey everybody, it's me, John Anthony Chihawk Soltero. I am the anti-hero, and I've got an unboxing here. Um, this is my first art unboxing, and it is something that I purchased this past week on Facebook from the group uh, Sketches and Art and Commissions on, uh, on Facebook, of course. Um, Arrived super, super quick. Um, I have learned my lesson. I have all of my important things shipped to my mother's house because um, it only happened once, but I learned my lesson. Uh, I had something disappear from my doorstep, which sucked. But, you know, you only really have to have that happen one time, and then you, you figure it out. So... Let me turn this on. Packaging on this is really good. The, uh, the art in here feels really, really firmly in place. There's my cutter. really excited about this one. Um, it's a pretty well-known artist, um, but I am more excited because of the character and the subject and the book that it came from. Now, probably should have put on that, that hero's t-shirt when I was opening this, but didn't think about it. And I was watching some wrestling, um, earlier this weekend, so here we go. And then, of course, it doesn't want to tear right there. Oh, you did a bang up job packaging this. I don't know if this is uh, from this artist's uh, personal collection or not. I got a little seal here. We'll see if you can see this. That's uh, Doug Monkey. Uh, his authentic seal. I believe he was the inker on this particular book. That just makes this even more exciting for me, honestly. So. So those of you know I'm a huge Nightwing fan. Nightwing is my favorite character. Um, it is already cut, so it's okay to cut through it again. Um, and um, I have a piece from Nightwing the Target that was drawn by Mc Scott McDaniel and inked by Aaron Soud. This is page 10. Oh, snap, he included the book, too. This is awesome. Okay, great, because I, I don't know if I have this one. Nightwing, annual, number 10. Or Night, Nightwing, annual from 1997, I'm sorry. It's actually Nightwing, annual, number 1. This is page 10. Um... Drawn by Greg Land, and I believe inked by Doug Monkey. Yeah, it's annual number one, 
It's a D DC official offset. This is actually Dick Grayson at a funeral. Great headshot character is in multiple panels. I mean, that's what you're looking for when you're collecting pages by specific artists or from specific books. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm not the world's biggest Greg Land fan. Uh, Land took over as the artist on Nightwing with issue 41. Um, Chuck Dixon was still writing it. Scott McDaniel had left on issue 40. McDaniel was always my favorite Nightwing artist. Um, but this is, this is uh, immediately getting a frame. It's going up. Uh, it's going up on my wall. I actually have a space. So back here, if you can see, right where my hand is, that's the Nightwing, the target piece, right here. And it was up over here on the wall, but it is going to, that page is going to be, or that uh, spot is going to be filled with this. Um, I'm so jazzed with this. This is, this is uh, immensely beautiful. It's got all the word balloons and everything in it. I believe this was hand lettered, or at least these were like cut and pasted into place because there's a, a couple that look like they were were done overhand. Yeah, these were these were hand lettered, and there's a couple of extra areas on here where they added um, word balloons to it. This is phenomenal. I'm so psyched about this. This is a, a great way to start uh, a week. Um, of course, it's been kind of marred by a lot of things, um, events being canceled. I was supposed to go to Gila Valley Comic Con at the end of the month. We just got the announcement that that show has been postponed at the very least. The Rage Against the Machine concert that was going to happen a couple days after that has also been postponed. Um, waiting to hear about Phoenix Fan Fusion, which I was going to be a guest at, or which I am a guest at. We'll see if that's going to be postponed or not. Um, it's like the middle towards the end of May, like the third week of May. So we'll see. Um, but this is a great opportunity to uh, get artwork or get comics from your favorite artists, from your favorite creators. Um, a lot of ways to contact them. Some of them have reps. Some of them have uh, artwork that they've already pre-done. They have, um, you know... Etsy shops or store envy shops or big cartel shops. If you were going to, you know, go and see some of your favorite artists at uh, a convention, you can still support them. Some of these individuals, I mean, they're still working, they're still putting out published works, but some of the other artists may not be getting regular work or maybe between projects and they could still really use your support. Just like a lot of indie artists and, um, small businesses. The, the best way to help support them during this time, um, what you can do is order gift cards, gift certificates from them, swing by if they're still open, um, you know, buy a $20 gift certificate. Even if you can't get services from them right now, if a bunch of people do that, you're supporting their business. You're allowing them to, you know, help keep doors open or pay employees. Um, and then when everything is good and clear, you can go back and you can use the, the gift card or the gift certificate. Um, there are different comic book shops. Isotope uh, Comic Book Lounge in San Francisco is doing a really cool curbside pickup uh, where if you call ahead and let them know that your, um, your subscription or yeah, to let them know if your subscription is in your pull box, they'll come out, they'll give it to you at the, at the curb. Uh, they can arrange for you if you have a compromised immune system to come in independently um, when nobody else is there. Uh, local comic book shop here, Charlie's Comic Books, is going to be doing appointments as of the 22nd of March um, so that you can come in one person or one family at a time to pick up your books, go through back issues or something like that. He's also mailing out stuff to people who might have compromised immune systems or you know, won't be able to get out because they're going to be working or doing whatnot. A um, lot of people online, Instagram, Facebook, uh, find your favorite artists, no matter who it is, your favorite creators, no matter who they are, support them. Because if you still have some money to spend on entertainment, 
this is the perfect way to do it because it's not going to be super big, but it can really help make or break somebody's month um, during this downtime. And there are a lot of independent creators out there who um, they're not doing any, any shows for the foreseeable future. They're not going to be doing any events. And right now what they have time to do is be at home and create. So take advantage of that. Get something from them and, you know, What's even better when somebody's creating something from the confines of their home and not at a convention, chances are you're going to get a really amazing piece from them too. So I know they would appreciate it for myself as well. If you want to order a commission from me, you can message me here. Um, I'll put the link to my Facebook um, in the, in the description below, as well as my Patreon. I've only got one supporter or one patron right now. I'm hoping to get more, putting some exclusive content on there. Um, just started inks on the Bubble Patrol issue three, so I'll start doing some some behind the scenes type stuff so you can see progress shots of everything. Um, hope to hear from you guys soon. Hope you're taking care of yourselves physically, mentally, emotionally, um, and we'll be seeing you soon. Have a good week. Stay anti-hero strong.